Let me show you how all this works. I am Frode Alexander Hagland, the designer of the software. First, Reader. Let's start with something very basic but very useful. I'll go in and out of full screen with the escape key, making full screen quite a bit more convenient than fiddling to click the little window bar button. Now I'll cite this academic document by copying text, then switching to author and pasting. When I click on what I pasted, you can see that this is a full citation, which will be automatically added to the reference section on export. Let me show you how this magic is possible. When I open a PDF which has a DOI on the first page, Reader will ask me if I want to resolve the DOI and add the citation information to the back of the document in what we call Visual Meta. Please note, a document exported from author has this information already included. Now I can cite this document whenever I want simply by copying and pasting. If I prefer to cite the document without copying specific text for a quote, I can just do Command C when the document is open, go to Author and Paste, and I will now be citing the document without a quote. To cite from a book, I put the cursor where I want the citation to appear and do Command T, then type the name of the book or the author, hit Enter, choose from the results, and I get a full citation. When someone views the PDF and reader, they can click on a citation, and reference information will appear in a pop-up. It becomes more and more valuable to be able to navigate your text as you write and edit, so let me show you a few ways augmented text can help you get to grips with your text. Because you specify what a heading is an author by doing Command 1 for Level 1, Command 2 for Level 2, author knows what text is a heading. This allows you to fold the document into an outline with a quick Command minus. You can do Command minus again to see less levels, and you can do Command plus to see more. You can of course click on a section to jump to it. If you have highlighted any text with Command Shift H, as I'm doing here, this text will show up in the outline, making it easy to mark the sections you still need to work on. Find works differently in author than what you might expect. If you select text and do Command F, only sentences with the selected text will appear. You can click on any sentence to jump to it in the document, or Command F again to exit this view. The fact that you can use Command F to also exit this view is useful since that lets you do a quick search and exit without having to hunt for different keys or settings. The dynamic view is your free form thinking space in Author. Command D or click at the bottom of the screen to enter this view. Here you can double click anywhere and type anything and move it anywhere. You can connect text by option dragging one piece of text to another. When the text is selected, you will notice that some of it is orange and some blue. If you double click on any text which is blue, you are effectively performing a find command for that text, and all the occurrences of that text will show. You can click to jump in a sentence, or click in the margin, or exit to go back. If you double click on orange text, you get the option to paste it into the word processing view. If, in the word processing view, you select text and do command D, that text will conveniently be copied across to the dynamic view. I'd like to highlight that the dynamic view is not just a graph view. The fact that you can double click on text in the dynamic view to see where it is in the word processing view means that you have a thinking space that is connected to your word processing. Let's exit the dynamic view and have a look at the margins when we are in full screen. The margins have a similar capability to the dynamic view. Here you can write any keyword you want, same as the dynamic view. They do not scroll with the document. They are not annotations. They are simply stickies to remind you of text you don't know where to put yet. We call this magic margins. The focus mode is designed to remove distractions when you need to focus on a specific paragraph of text, which can be quite useful when editing your document. Put the cursor where you want to focus and command slash to enter focus mode, or click focus in the lower right hand corner. Any paragraph you have your cursor in will be the one in focus. All the other paragraphs will fade back. Command slash to exit focus mode. One of the great innovations in writing digital text is copy and paste. However, cut and paste can be a bit stressful since you can cut something, then cut something else, and what you first cut will be lost. In author though, anything you cut is retained in your cuttings, provided you don't paste it before you cut again, because then you wouldn't need it in the cuttings since you already have it placed securely somewhere. To paste from your cuttings, do Ctrl V. Here you can see everything you have cut. 
To define text as a glossary term, select the text and do Command-G, then write your personal definition of that text. This will then be available for users when they open your document in Reader. They can select text that happens to be a glossary term, do Command-F, and the definition will appear at the top of the screen. In this definition, any other words that also have glossary terms will be bold, allowing them to click around and view your glossary terms. I'll show you Liquid here in Reader, but please note it works pretty much everywhere in your Mac. Liquid is a text interaction utility I highly recommend you download from the App Store. It's free, just like Reader. It's fast and simple. To look up a word's etymology, for example, I do this. Let me show you again and explain what I did. I did a keyboard shortcut, which in my case is command space, but you can make it anything you like. This lifted the selected text into Liquid's interface. You can see there are many options available, and they all have keyboard shortcuts assigned to them. Let's do something different and look it up in Wikipedia, which I could do by mouse, or simply R for references and then W for Wikipedia. Thank you for your time. Augmented Text grows with our community, and we look forward to hearing from you should you have any questions or comments. To see what other efforts we're involved with, just search the web for The Future of Text.